What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at which USB Bluetooth uh, 4.0 adapter is good for a PC. Now whether you have Bluetooth on your motherboard or not is going to determine whether you're going to need one of these. Now this is a USB uh, wireless 4.0 Bluetooth dongle and uh, you can see it's a micro USB adapter plugs straight into your computer and what this is going to do is allow you to uh, use Bluetooth on your computer. Now you may be thinking, why would I need this? Well, there's many different reasons why you would need a Bluetooth adapter. Uh, basically, you may have a Bluetooth speaker or you may have some sort of smartphone that you want to connect to your computer without putting a cable into it. Headphones, you can listen to music and stuff with Bluetooth headphones. Um, anything like that will be useful for something like this. Also, you've got controllers, Bluetooth controllers that you can connect to your computer with using something like this, and it's pretty useful. Now, this is uh, native for Windows 10. It's just plug in and play, and uh, you, once you plug this in, you're pretty much good to go from there. And as you can see here, it supports many different things here. So we're going to get it out the uh, package and uh, take a look at it, and I'll show you basically how to use it. Now, also, this does have some special features on it, which are good for... Uh, Xbox One S and also PS4 controllers, Bose headphones and speaker and stuff like that. Now this is not compatible for 2.4 uh, gigahertz uh, devices or anything like that. So if you're looking for one of those, then you need to look elsewhere and uh, try a different type of adapter. But this is what we're going to be using for Bluetooth headphones and other bits and pieces. Okay, so inside the kit, you're going to get here a little notice so no need to install additional drivers on your PC. Uh, basically, they are pre-installed with Windows 10. So you just have to uh, basically plug this in, which is really nice. And also it's pretty quick. And uh, you also get a two year warranty with this as well. Now you get some uh, bump here, which you can take a look at. It's pretty self-explanatory. So we're not gonna take a look at that here. Uh, we're just gonna get the actual device out and plug it into the uh, computer. And I'll take you over there and we can see whether it detects uh, uh, our headphones and stuff like that. So this is it here. It's a very small little device, as you can see. And uh, that's powerful enough. Now 4.0, Bluetooth 4.0 is pretty powerful. And uh, you should be able to uh, get access from this all around your home. Now some motherboard manufacturers do support uh, Bluetooth on the board. So if that is the case, you may not need one of these. And uh, now, another question that come up with uh, something like this is basically uh, people wanting to watch movies with headphones, especially headphones like these ones here. Now, if you're using Bluetooth headphones like this, uh, people are saying something about, oh, it loses sync. Well, if you know anything about Bluetooth, it's going to lose sync with, mo uh, with movies and stuff like that. And that is another whole video in itself, and I'll cover that video uh, at a later date. But basically, you need to make sure that you've got a certain uh, supported features for movie playback and stuff like that if you want to watch and stream movies with Bluetooth headphones, OK? Anyway, let's get this plugged into the computer and uh, test it. OK, so let's go ahead and plug in our Bluetooth adapter here. I'm going to go into uh, this location here and go into devices. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to plug in our Bluetooth adapter. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me just plug it in. And there we go. We should be in now. And I've got the Bluetooth enabled inside here. OK, so I've got my uh, headphones on pairing mode. I'm going to go to add Bluetooth device, click on the Bluetooth here, and I'm going to click on the Tribit X3 Tune, uh, which is the headphones uh, that I wanted to pair. And you can now see we do have them paired. Click done. And I should now be able to play music and uh, you can see them connected down here. So it's connected to Bluetooth headphones very easily uh, using uh, that Bluetooth dongle. And as you can see, we have music coming out of our headphones, which is pretty cool. It means we've got Bluetooth headphones working on our Windows 10 system. Now let's see if we can get our phone uh, to connect here. So I'm gonna try and get our phone connecting here. So let me just go ahead and go to connections here and Bluetooth. And 
and there we go we've now got the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and we can connect it's now doing the same thing asking for the code and I can connect there and we're done so basically my phone is now connected we're paired as you can see here so it does work with phones and it also works with Bluetooth and Bluetooth speakers uh, loads of different devices so it's a very compatible uh, dongle uh, that you can get here it's one of probably one of the best ones uh, that you can get at that sort of price point as well and you can also get access to your Bluetooth from down here in the bottom right hand side uh, you only click on this you'll get some send file and receive file you can also do it from down there I'll cover that in maybe in another video but that's pretty much it so if you're interested in this I'll leave the link in the video description uh, for uh, this little Bluetooth dongle uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.